You know, thinking back, the Persona dancing game sure was something special. I mean, as spin-offs to the mainline Persona games, you first had Persona 4 Dancing All Night released on the Vita as the first big foray into, oh dear, they're gonna milk the cash cows, returning back to characters you know and care about, showing what they have been up to, while also in a very convoluted way, creating a story with shadows in the idol industry where you have to save the day by dancing. And it was so fun! Then you also had the other mode to dance, the special remix versions of the songs you know, with each character getting their own dance, and partners in the middle of songs with unique animations and multiple costumes to unlock. It was just so much stuff! Then years later they did the same for Persona 3 and 5. Now removing a story, they added in social aspects where you learn more about each character the more you play. And honestly it gave us the best development for so many people! But in addition you also had the remix songs, costumes and such. And I just want to say, Wow, these were amazing rhythm games. Look, for the longest time, rhythm games were just, uh, you know, you're tapping to a beat with a generic background, with changes of the gameplay of how you tap between the games. Persona blew that away with motion capture dances, adding so much personality in a gameplay system that had you tapping the beats around the center of the frame, giving the performances a little window for you to look at. But at higher difficulties, yeah, I was not paying attention to whatever was happening there. And I look back fondly to these games because now I've experienced so much more rhythm games and they always just feel lacking. Either it's just songs straight from the game, no remixes, no bonus story, or it just adds more questions, or horrendous models that give you nightmares. Yeah, big reason I had this idea for this video was when I tried out that demo for that theater rhythm Final Fantasy game, but it made me appreciate so much more how Atlas nailed the genre with their take years ago. This does not make me feel fun. It makes me feel something else. The animations are just way more stiff. Besides, scrolling rhythm thing means characters don't really do anything, so you don't have something to look at apart from the gameplay, which is not what I really think this genre is about. I mean, when you're watching an idol concert, I'm sure you're thinking, yes, yes, they're hitting the notes right, and completely ignoring the visual aspect to it. I know it's a long-running series, and as a newish Final Fantasy fan compared to most, the demo was very disappointing to me as someone who really likes this genre of game. Rhythm spin-offs are seen as a celebration of the franchise. Sure, you can put the same songs you just know from the main game, but they actually remixed most of the tracks into new beats, and some are just so amazing! I kind of prefer a few of them to the original. Then adding in new stories and character development, although yes it is debatable if they are canon, it was just good fan service. Look I'll admit I'm not even a pro at the game, I actually find myself doing way better with the Kingdom Hearts one, actually achieving flawless runs. But there was just something special about these Persona dancing games, and I want them to continue making them, even though they didn't sell well. I mean the microtransaction policy didn't help too much with that, with bundles and savings only for the US and not the rest of the world. But I kind of took for granted how much effort goes into these games. They could have just done, you know, a dancing mode and, but, you know, that's it. But they actually tried to tie it to the lore while adding in all these bonus content and I just want to applaud them for that because it just feels like they tried. And I really hope that continues with Persona 6. But also, why have they not released the Persona 3 portable DLC? That seems like the biggest missed opportunity to me. They could have kept milking the games, you know, adding in all the DLC to keep the money rolling because I would have paid. But then again, I don't think the game sold that well, so it's probably why it stopped. Which is then amusing because Persona 3 Reload sold amazingly well. You also had more Persona 5 spin-offs. I mean, what's a year when they don't spin off this guy? But it really feels like the two dancing games were kinda rushed out of the gate. Because if they waited, they would have had way more things they could have added. But then, yeah, I still think if this gremlin is not gonna make you buy the game, they have no chance. Because it is an interesting genre of game where everyone loves the music of Persona. Oh man, now I gotta lock in while listening to? Because yes, these games can get quite challenging. As someone who was always into these games from the Hatsune Miku days, I still really do like them. And I'm always look out for when my favorite franchises get rhythm game spin-offs. Come on, buddy, we're all waiting for you. But even then, when I try out the other rhythm games, they really do not hold up to Persona's attempt. I'm actually sure the Kingdom Hearts one sold more purely because Nomura teased some story tidbits and the Kingdom Hearts fan base rushed out to grab it, while Persona it seemed more as non-canon or they're not like continuing the story, whereas Persona 4's one actually did. So maybe that could have helped it if Persona 3 and 5 continued the story in some way, like say Strikers did. I would love to see them do an updated remake version of the dancing game. You know, maybe make it have a story like Tactica or Strikers, Give it to another team or something while you're working on Persona 6. Maybe have it be where the three teams meet up 
and dance away the pain. So yeah, what do you think? Were these the best rhythm games? Or are there any others that you think maybe I would like to try out? I've played Hatsune Miku fighting Godzilla, okay? I've seen quite a few of them. But yeah, these things are so rare of a genre. More so because games nowadays are doing these rhythm games as mini games in a level. So I really do appreciate Atlas's attempt at it to make it a full story thing. And even if they did rush out the follow-ups, I just hope they don't give up on this genre. Because, oh man, can that get this? Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik, 